Hey, it's Angela from the blog Angela Marie Made, and today I'm going to be talking about my favorite porcelain tile that looks like marble and giving an overview and a review of it, as well as answering some common questions I've received about it. And I have a direct link to it below in the description box. So for our master bathroom renovation last year, I really wanted to use marble floor tile. I love the look of marble and I think it's really classic and timeless so I knew it wouldn't go out of style. But there was two problems I had with using real marble in our bathroom renovation. The first one was the cost of it. Real marble is expensive so it wasn't budget friendly and I was really trying to stick to a budget friendly bathroom renovation. The other issue I had with it was the maintenance of it. With real marble typically you need to continuously seal it on an ongoing basis and also it's a more porous stone so it's more susceptible to stains and you can't just there's a lot of cleaners that you can't use on it so it wasn't a very practical choice for our really high traffic bathroom the best alternative I came up with to real marble was to do a porcelain tile that looks like marble I thought this was the perfect solution because porcelain tile is really durable and it's more budget friendly, but you can get porcelain tiles that actually look like real marble, so you get the look of marble without the negative parts about it. So I started researching all the different porcelain tiles that look like marble that were available in the market. The initial tile that I ordered was a small hexagon tile. I loved the idea of it, but when I saw it in person, it was really low quality, it was thin, it was chipping, it just didn't look like real marble. <laughs> so when I went back online to research an alternative tile, I came across a larger hexagon tile. It was about 7 to 8 inches big, and it had really great reviews, and I decided to order that. When it arrived in the mail, it came really well packaged and it looked like it was a really high quality tile. It was thicker and the pattern on the tile actually looked like real marble. And I actually have a sample of it right here. So as you can see, it's a nice thick tile and it's really heavy and durable feeling. Up close, the pattern looks like a real marble and it doesn't look fake. For the installation of the tile, my husband and I installed it ourselves and it was actually our first tile installation that we've ever done and overall it really wasn't too bad. It was a little difficult at first just figuring out the initial cuts especially because it was a hexagon pattern to it but once we got that started it went faster. And for installing it, we removed our old tile and then we put mortar down followed by hardy cement board and then we installed the tile over that. It's been about 10 months since we've installed it and I love it as much as the day we installed it. It's held up beautiful and still looks like new. It cleans up really easily too. We just clean it with a mix of water and vinegar and it looks like new every time. It's been super durable and there hasn't been any kind of weird discoloration or anything like that. It's just such a pretty tile and I always get compliments on it when, I, when anybody <laughs> sees it. I really don't have any cons to share about it because I love it so much and it's really been a great tile in our master bathroom. Alright, I wanted to share some common questions that I've received about it since we installed it. One of the most common questions I always get is what grout did I use with it? And I used a warm gray grout and it was pre-mixed. It was really easy to use and I'll link to it below. Also, another question I get a lot along with the grout question is what size tile spacer we used? And we used a 3 8 tile spacer which I think was perfect. It wasn't too big, not too small, and overall the scale of the 3 8 size looks really nice with the size of the tile. Another common question I've gotten is about the tile variation and I found with the boxes we received there was a ton of variation in the pattern of the tile and I really didn't have any issues when I was laying it down with all the tile looking like it was the same, t uh, the same pattern. So overall I'd say it has a really great variation to it that looks very natural and just like real marble. Looking at 
up close at the variation. It's mostly gray and there's a little bit of brown in some of the tiles, but mostly it's a really warm gray mixed with cool grays and just like real marble would have. Another question I've received is if the tile is slippery. It has a matte finish to it, so when it's dry and you're walking on it, it's really not slippery. I mean, if it gets wet, it would be just like any other tile you need to be careful, but overall it is not like extra slippery because of that matte finish. Well, that's it for today. I hope this overview and review of my favorite porcelain tile that looks like marble has been helpful, especially if you're doing a home renovation and looking for this particular type of tile. I would totally use it again, and in fact, for our next bathroom renovation, our guest bathroom, I'm planning on using it because I just love it so much and such a good value, especially for the look and the quality and durability. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions that I didn't answer. And again, I'm sharing a direct link to the tile as well as the grout I used below. Thank you again for stopping by and please subscribe to my channel for more DIY and home improvement videos.